This is it, the big one, the final of the 10th School Choir of the Year competition. Three junior and three senior choirs have made it through the tricky semi-finals, and today we'll sing one more time to try and amaze the judges if they're to be crowned 2012 School Choir of the Year champions. Once more to the Lowry Theatre here in Salford Keys for this all-important final of the 2012 School Choir of the Year competition. This is what all those hours of hard work is all about. Who wants it? We Funny enough, they all do. We don't only have our three junior choir finalists, the best three senior school choirs in the land will be here later, trying to win one of these two. And if that wasn't enough, we have the fabulous Joe McKeldry singing right here on this stage, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now the junior choirs are ready and waiting to go. They are from Croydon, Coloma Convent Girls' School. <laughs> and from Derry in Northern Ireland, it's St. Patrick's Primary School. From Hertfordshire, it's Heath Mount School. Yeah, the fans are in. They all clearly want to win this. But there can only be one winner. The three people tasked with choosing which choir that will be are our celebrity judges, of course. First up, he's a music producer, performer, a vocal coach to some of the biggest names in the business. Please welcome David Grant. Our next judge has several strings to her bow to qualify for the job. She's a choir director, choir founder, choir conductor. It is the one and only Susie Digby. <laughs> Our last judge is a world-class tenor with a voice that keeps on getting bigger and better. It's the one and only Russell Watson. <laughs> David, these choirs have done so well to get to the final. What can they do to get this? to sing their hearts out, to be the best they can be, to deliver everything that they can and to show the viewers just how colossally high the standard of choral singing is in junior schools. You eat, drink, breathe choirs, Susie. Um, what are you looking for? The quality of sound and all the technical aspects, the tuning, the blend, the balance. But overall, what's really, really important is the integrity of the interpretation of the words. And Russell, let me guess, you want to get emotional. Alad, it's the final. The nerves are going to be jangling, that's for sure. So they've got to keep the nerves under control and just go out there and think about nothing other than enjoying themselves. Now then, to get to this stage of the competition, each of our choirs sang a hymn. Here's a reminder of how they made it through to the final. Our three choirs will sing their choice of inspirational song. Going first, our Coloma Convent Girls' School from Croydon.
Coloma. <laughs> David Grant, that was brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, that was excellent. I never thought I'd live to see jazz hands at the Songs of Praise School Choir of the Year competition. <laughs> but it worked. Everything, everything worked. Even stuff that really shouldn't have worked, worked. <laughs> you just defied certain laws of musical gravity there. <laughs> and you actually made it work. So well done to you. <laughs> Susie, there's a lot of pressure on these young girls. There is. I mean, that was my kind of performance. From beginning to end, it started, it was so subtly moving, really moving. And then it became fun. And so it had this sort of range of uh, entertainment as well as what I was talking about before, the integrity of the performance. It was subtle, it was understated, and it was, it was technically excellent on top. Russell, whatever happens, can the girls go home happy? Absolutely. And, and first of all, wow, where did that come from? I mean, it was just incredible. It's such a complex arrangement as well that you, you pulled off so well. That was absolutely fantastic. Well done. Thank you, judges, and thank you to the Paloma Convent Girls' School Choir. Atmosphere when we came off was great. We were all really happy with ourselves and proud of what we'd done and what we achieved. Good luck for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they were winners in the semi-final and they're, they're still winners no matter what happens because I think they've sung their hearts out. Our next junior choir finalists are from Derry in Northern Ireland. It's St Patrick's.
Russell, um, they've all got angels' voices, haven't they? Yeah, it was, it, it was definitely angelic. There's no question about that, particularly the young lady there. Absolutely fantastic. You held it throughout as well. Um, I thought there was there's some nice pop inflections in there as well. I wasn't expecting them, but they were there, which I thought was very nice, slightly different. Um, for me, on that performance, your tuning wasn't as good, but overall, I thought the performance was really good. David, what do you think? Lovely solo at the beginning. Loved the, the tone that you guys have when you sing together as a choir. It's beautiful, it's subtle, it's warm, it's bright, it's just a lovely sound. I, I pick up on the point that Russell made, though, the counter melody being slightly under. Um, um, but that, to me, was, was the only flaw in, in the whole performance. I just thought it was really understated and beautiful. Does it matter if the tuning's out a little bit, Susie? Yes, I'm afraid so. <laughs> For me, it was just a little bit. The tune. I mean, it's pretty good. You know, our standards are ridiculously high. But what I admire about you is you really explore every corner of every word, and I so enjoyed watching you. Thank you, judges, and thank you for the time being, St. Patrick's Primary School. I think it went quite well. If it, we won, if we won, we'd be it just um, ecstatic. It'd be so good. I think they will remember this day forever, um, long after they've left St. Patrick's Primary School and moved on, and I just hope that they treasure it forever. Thank you.